back at the kitchen again with Chef Ricardo Cooking Show. I want to take the time out to say happy, 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 happy Mother's Day, guys. It's amazing to be in the kitchen giving you some lovely recipe. I mean, I want my mother cook my recipe. But you know what I'm going to say? Get your son, your daughter, to go straight on Chef Ricardo YouTube channel and find your best recipe where you like your son and your daughter to prepare for you for Mother's Day. Alright, this son is Mother's Day and you know what I mean, I'm just taking the time to say Happy Mother's Day guys. I love you all. You know what I mean? It's just amazing to be in the kitchen and giving your favorite recipes, your favorite ideas, things that you love at home. This is where Chef Ricardo come and fill that gap. That's you guys can be happy. A big, big Happy Mother's Day and I love you all of you guys. And you know what happened? If you're not my mother or someone else's mother, we are reach out for you guys. Happy Mother's Day. Young mothers who just having baby. If you doesn't even have any kids yet, are your kids on the way? Happy Mother's Day for you. Every mother who came with a child into this world is a mother. We love you all. And don't forget, get your family, your neighbor, everyone to follow Chef Ricardo. Go on my YouTube channel, get your favorite recipe, tell a friend, and a friend tell a friend, and share the good news, share the breaking news. The breaking news that Chef Ricardo will reach into the uttermost part of the earth with some good recipe, nice recipe. Tell them about the good Jamaican food. Not only Jamaican, we are telling them every kind of food we can tell them about. But you know, it's Chef Ricardo from Jamaica, so. Happy Mother's Day! For every mother we love you all and don't forget to subscribe and follow me instagram twitter and facebook google plus me and get your favorite recipe guys i love you all and i will see you next time from one of the top supermarkets and look at this you now I mean I just take up the bag them to show my fans them to say listen sometimes we go to the top supermarket then we still have to look good of things where we buy all right the other day I did a video of washing everything at home you know what I mean even your time when you used to cook with it, you need to wash it scotch bonnet pepper all of these things is very important so basically I did a video the other day saying wash everything this is i'm doing another part one part two of it so basically even this one just take a good look guys as i can see look at the dirt inside of it honestly i feel like you know what i'm gonna chop this one in the bin i'm not gonna be even using this one put that one side so basically i said to the fans the other day wash everything what you use all right guys look at this you need to just wash them get rid of those you know what i mean because you don't even know who angle them even the very first time you just brought them i just said chop i'm not gonna be washing that spring onion is another thing a lot of people doesn't like to wash them you need to wash it when you look inside of the spring onion sometimes when you look down inside of it it's bay dirt so you know you need to wash them sometimes anyway please go on my youtube channel leave your comments and also Give me a like and tell me what you think of what I'm doing right here. If it is important or is not important. But I'm just simply sharing stuff with my fans. Them, I know a lot of people then just get things and start chopping it up. No, it doesn't work that way. You can, you know what I mean? You need to make sure wash your stuff them before you use them. Thank you so much for watching Chef Ricardo Show. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus me. Wash your vegetable, wash your vegetable before you use them. Very important because you doesn't know who is touching them before you cook them at home. Give your kids, your family to eat, bringing bacterial germs in your fridge. And as you can see, them are looking good and nice and fresh, but take a good look again at this one. You see that? Dirty and filthy. I just take up the bag to show my fans them exactly. Sometimes it doesn't look says we need to very look good when you're buying the stuff at the supermarket at the local shop anywhere because this i'm gonna chuck this in the bin this doesn't good you have a cut on it 
and all these things. Look at the amount of dirt inside of it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.